Hello fellow Land Rover enthusiasts. You probably just bought or are thinking of buying one of those new Chinese head units like the Joy Inc. And you are wondering how to connect it and how to retain the steering wheel control with this new head unit. You can't find the, the wires, you don't have any schematics and you're trapped just like I was. Well, you came to the right place and I'm going to show you in a while how it's done. So, this is the wiring we have on our Land Rover Discovery 2. This is a Land Rover Discovery from 2003. You have two headers, two connection headers. I think that's how, how you call it. And it's very easy to connect this joying one DIN head unit. Uh, you just connect these two connectors into the provided socket they have the, they are slanted so there is no way you can make a mistake you don't it only goes one way oh underneath and the brown one goes here with this connected you have everything basically you have the sound, the energy, power, and the radio, the head unit could work already. But you're missing the steering wheel controls. So how do you connect them? As you can see, we have two wires named key 1 and key 2. And according to the schematics, you have two wires coming from the steering wheel controls. So you, you would assume key 1 would go to one wire and key 2 would go to the other wire. But that's not correct. You can only connect one of the wires. But first, which wires? Where are the wires that come from the steering wheel controls? I've made a lot of research <coughs> and I found that into this header there is a SR and SB wire. S means slanted, R means red, and B means black. So we have a slanted red and a slanted black wire. Slanted means it has a white stripe. It's a red wire with a white stripe and the black wire with a white stripe. But this is to show you the color of the wires. So I don't know if it's easily seen but it's a red with a white stripe and a black with a white stripe. But how do you know these are the correct wires? There's one way you can check if these are the correct wires. You use a multimeter, you put it in resistance measuring. The steering wheel controls don't have any power. They just provide different resistance values for each function of the button the buttons. So when you press any button on the steering wheel controls you'll have a resistance, a different resistance for each button. So let's try it. I'm going to insert, doesn't matter the order, one of these probes in the red, slanted red and another probe in the slanted black. You do this testing, but you have to disconnect the two connectors. They must not be connected, otherwise it won't work. So, to test for the right wires, you insert one of the probes in the black and white wire, and the other probe in the red and white wire. Then, you check for resistance, pressing volume up, there you have 40, 46 ohm. Pressing the volume down, four point four ohm. You can be sure that these are the correct wires. Let's go to the next phase how to connect them. 
So we've tested our wires, we know which one is it. Now you would assume, since you have two keys, key 1 and key 2, one would go to one of the wires and the other would go to the second wire. But no, you leave alone key 2, you don't need it. It doesn't matter probably which key you choose, which wire you choose, but I left key 2 alone and I just connected key 1 to one of the wires. It also doesn't matter which one, because it will only measure resistance, different resistances. So it doesn't matter which wire you connect. But I decided, I've decided to connect key 1 to the red and white wire. And the black and white wire, the second wire, is connected to ground. So I've connected this blue wire it's an extra wire that I've managed to connect between this black and white wire into a, an earth header that is underneath the, the steering wheel here in the fuse box. I'm going to show you where it is right now. And here we are underneath the steering wheel in the fuse box compartment. You can see over there the blue wire connected to an, to an earth point. This is one of the car's earth points. I should put a net, nut, a net in there, but right now it's just soldered and it's working perfectly. So, in short, you have from the head unit, you have Q1, you find the red and white wire and the black and white wire that come from the steering wheel controls you can check them with the multimeter to see if there is a different resistance each time you press one of the steering wheel controls and then you connect one of the keys key one in this case to one of the wires and the other wire you will connect it to ground and it will work so let's put it Put this all together and see the steering wheel controls working for the first time after 14 years. How do you program the, um, the steering wheel controls into this head unit? You go to this app, the control app with the steering wheel logo and you'll get uh, all the possible assignments that you can do. Our Steering wheel controls only have five buttons, so we can only we can only assign five different functions. I'm going to start with the volume. I press volume and I press volume up, and there it is. It's working. Now volume down. I press volume down, and it's assigned. Now another one would be to skip track back. It's done. Another is skip track forward. That is, that's it. And the last one would be to answer the phone. And here we have our five functions assigned. You can choose whatever five assignments you want. So in the end, we just press the check mark and all our functions are working. I'm going back to my main screen and you can see volume up, volume down, phone. I don't have a phone connected right now. Going back and if I go to the radio, I can see... And that's it. And that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. You can put the questions on the comments below. And see you next time.